Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about some scenario based questions. I'm sure this video is really helpful for those who are preparing for ComCI, Security Plus, CASP, IC Square, CISSP, CCSP or ISACA CSUM. These questions are more technical questions with management context and uh, I did pretty much research on this question. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay, so first coffee shot. CISO at a large organization has reviewed a gap assessment and compare them to a current industry trends. One concern they identify after performing a gap assessment is that there is no diversity of controls implementation. CISO tried to convince the management about the benefits of varying controls diversity in the organization. So which of the following best explain why control diversity is important in a defense in depth architecture see the intent of every organization is that they need to protect the organization from internal and external threat and uh, as a security officer as a CISO okay it is always we have this concern that internal threat is always a concern than external threat and one control okay like just installing a firewall and we just in the assumption that okay everything will be protected will not give a, a too good security solution so we always believe we should have a compensatory or defense in depth solution that is why you have seen uh, we have a firewall one then we have a dmz then we have another firewall then we have an internal network so we have such kind of a series of controls so if one firewall is down the dmz can able to block the attacks and that is why we always pitch for defense in depth but here what is the benefit of having a defense in depth i'm trying to convince as a CISO to the management so option a defense in depth relies on the control diversity to provide multiple level of network hierarchy that allow user domain segmentations that is true because with the help of segmentation we can limit the attack option b almost every day new technical exploit to bypass the controls are disclosed control variety offer overlapping protection which is also true okay third because hacker frequently affect the effectiveness of many measure having a several copy of a single control offer redundancy does not make sense if we having a control from a same identical it, it, it doesn't give any too much solutions because just having a two firewall with the similar functionality will not be effective with firewall we need a strong people to manage the things so strong skill is required with dlp with firewall is a effective one just installing a two dlp will not give any solution and fourth is control diversity is used in a defense center to offer single layer which is not true we need a multiple layer sequence which is and allow users single segmentation which is wrong so in cissp in ccsp in comcia exam you need to be very careful with the english word one word will change the option now if you see the d option it look very straight till this part it is okay but here the question and option is basically changed sorry option get changed they saying single layer of network architecture which basically eliminate this option so it look like a is a very close option that's why i'm going with the a because of two keyword one is called multiple level of networks hierarchy and domain segmentation one thing always remember when you get scenario based questions you have a higher probability to answer it correct because you have a more information in the question and when you read the questions and sequence make sure you should read it thoroughly so let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay, it's a very good question. ABC Limited purchase IAS service. It means like a rented of CPU, RAM and storage, a virtual from an external cloud provider. It means like Amazon, Microsoft and all that. ABC Limited is responsible for managing their guest virtual machines. Definitely uh, in the case of IAS, they get a virtual system in which they have an option to install the OS, managing networks and all that and they also want to ensure the logical isolations from their other customers and data and service security see thinking from this perspective they're using a cloud and they want to ensure their data as a tenant should be isolated from other okay 
but on the other hand other customer only look for the service availability so it mean the question talking about one tenant is looking for security and one looking for the availability so what is the most effective way to handle this situation Option A: The best way to control security install the host-based firewall. As the ABC Limited will not have access to the hypervisor, which is true because in the IS you don't have access to the hypervisor, which is managed by a cloud provider. Option B: The best way to control security install the physical firewall. Sorry to say, and as the ABC Limited will have access to the hypervisor, which is itself is a wrong statement, because we don't have authority to install our physical firewall in their premises. Option C: Hosting company should install the hypervisor firewall. and allow the customer to manage its space on need to know basis never provider never give access to the hypervisor because in a one hypervisor they host multiple machine which is accessible to multiple tenant and fourth is abc limited company should install the hypervisor based firewall and allow the provider to manage need to know basis which is never happen so only option which is very closed it look like answer is a because in that we can install our host based firewall virtual firewall in their is services by which we can able to segment the network from others so this is all let's move to the next question on next coffee shot okay so abc limited ciso has vastly improved the company security posture <clears throat> however data breaches and loss asset still haunt the firm data breaches has have often led to compromise of a critical company and client data each employee is given a laptop for a use in conducting a business which of the following is the most effective countermeasure we can apply to mitigate the data breach the question talking about data breach and loss asset still haunt the firm it mean they are very scared about that and each employee is given a laptop for a use in conducting business which of the following is a most effective countermeasure we can apply to mitigate the data breach so see mobiles are something or laptops are something which is always prone for theft and all that and what we need is basically a persistent data security so option a implement the full disk encryption with tpm implementation which look correct option b conduct the regular monitoring for network efficiency but question talking about given laptop so even the network is effective and the there's a stupidity done by human we can't control that so be removed cryptography hash is for all data transfer between the services but that is more from a hashing point of view and option d is create a security matrix that gives data on a reaction time and requirement to help you to decide where to spend your efforts and money but this is more like a governance so the most effective security is that full disk encryption which can be achieved by the hardware based encryption which is called tpm even we lost the device still it maintain the persistent security and it also provide the secure initial state that's why the answer is a for alpha let's move to the next coffee shot so you are the ciso of a abc limited you are building a security culture in the organization that is the most effective way we can make the information security effective in the organization considering the people are the last line of defense and weakest link in the organization what is the most important thing a ciso has to perform to build the security culture in the organization you need to understand the weakest link is people and last line of defense is people when everything is failed so it's very important to make that uh, pillar defensive a very good defensive and that can be done with the help of good culture because no matter which technology you basically introduce if people are weak or we uh, weakest link we don't address you know it can bring the organization trouble like you install the firewall you install everything but one day what happened user receive an email he click on the link and it was a reverse connection which established with the hacker which is outside of the organization perimeter so it is very important to train the people so option a clearly define the expectation and acceptable behavior associated with the roles as well as ensure these are documented communicate to every enterprise member which is true option b publish the policy in the organization and drop an email to everyone about the responsibility but it is it doesn't give me assurance whether people are following that good to create a policy because that is how you can able to build the governance option c clearly define the expectation acceptable behavior associated with the roles as well as ensure these are published in the policy option d is create a policy which is true define the expectation 
and acceptable behavior associated with the roles as well as ensure these are documented and communicated to clearly to every member of the enterprise. So A is covered in the D. That's why I'm going with the answer D for Delta. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay. In ABC Limited, people from the marketing department have administrative privileges to their corporate network and frequently connect their official laptops to customer network when they go on site during a meeting and presentation. So example, one guy is from marketing guy, he has an administrative privilege, but sometimes he go to the client location, and they use the client network to connect to my network. Okay, so there will be a possibility that they have a malware which can be carried forward to my network. This basically raises the risk and likelihood of security incident when individual from the marketing department reconnect the enterprise LAN. Because now I connect my laptop to their network, I browse something, there will be some malware which is comes to my system. It might change my configuration. Okay. So which of the following control would best protect the corporate network? Option A, update the information security but and ensure marketing staff read and acknowledge the policy. This is more like an administrative control or instruction you have given. Option B, provide marketing staff with the different laptops with no administrative access just for the sales, but sometimes they want to perform some activities. And what is an assurance if you even given them a least administrative privilege that the system will not be infected? Option C, implement a NAC solutions that make the computer poster into account before giving network access, which look correct. Implement the VDI and disable the hardware and storage mapping from the thin client. See, again, D is also correct, no doubt in that. But sometimes they need more privileges to perform some marketing activity. So in that case, they don't have that. And question talking about reconnect to the enterprise LAN. Okay. So if you go by the option of reconnect, so every time whenever they connect to the network, they need to go through a security posture. And that is why I'm going with the answer C for Charlie. Implement an act solution that make the computer posture into account before giving the access. So what happened is whenever any user bring his bring, bring your own device or laptop and all that, it basically scan through an app, network access protection, which basically scan the system to check whether it meet the company benchmark or company baseline. If it meets the company benchmark or baseline, the DHCP will issue the IP address and through which they connect with the corporate network. Otherwise, they will be moved to the restricted network and until unless they don't install their necessary baseline, they will not get the access to the corporate network. It is similar like you join back to the office with the vaccination certificate. If you don't have a vaccination certificate, you won't able to access the facility. So this is the benchmark they have created. If C is not there, D is going, but in that case, implementing a VDI for all the networks, all the system will be a concern. Okay, and sometimes it is implementing a VDI will, will be directly opposite of bring your own device things. Okay, and here we have a movement which is happening. That's why the answer is C for Charlie. If you find this coffee shot useful, do share your feedback in the comments and do share in network and let me know what is the next video you want me to make. Okay, and do let me know what is the best practice. Uh, if you lost your device, you are a CISO and if you lost your device, okay, what is the best practice you can do to protect the laptop or protect the asset from unauthorized access? Thank you so much. Goodbye.